Hey everyone, I'm making some progress on my Digital Pet Cybermon game for KaiOS. KaiOS is awesome, it's a great lightweight mobile platform. I'm using Defold to develop this game and other games for KaiOS. So, in this game, there are up to four different enclosures. If I uh, swap over to the next enclosure, you see I have a different Cybermon. You can have up to four different Cybermon, but you have to buy the enclosures by playing the game and earning the in-game currency, uh, which is, you know, there's no um, actual, you know, uh, monetization in terms of you spending real money. There's there's not that. It's you just, you play the game, you earn gold, and you can buy the new enclosures. You can see that I don't have the other two. I only have these two enclosures. So you can see I don't have the graphics yet. I just put blank white squares, and then I'll draw the menu sprites tomorrow. If you open that, you get this stats menu you can see your stats for your monster strong smart tough accurate and i'm sort of catering the games and trying to set them up in a way to where they can be understood by people in countries um, that kios is targeting so places like india and africa i'm trying to avoid more abstract concepts that we tend to find um, quite uh, common in modern games because we get a ton of games that are advanced and our understanding of certain concepts like oh, strength and accuracy and toughness and smart. I'm trying to just keep the language simple so that maybe if they could get like a like a dictionary, they can translate it easily. Um, and you can see things like happy, hungry, fun, and career. The word career, I don't know if I can think of anything simpler than that. So I haven't finished programming all the activities yet, but say for example that I know that icon is for play. Uh, and I'm going to make a ball appear on the screen. Uh, this is Gogo Byte, is the name of the Cybermon. He's a little, little guy. And they can change form as they get older. You know, every day they gain one year in age. And they can metamorph into new forms. If I look at that menu, oh, he's already like, hold on, let me get out of there and try playing for fun again. So I'm still adjusting and fine tuning because as, as you play in over time, their stats decrease, but I need to fine tune that. So let's let them play again. So this is go, go bite. Let's see. Yeah. You can see his fun meter has increased. Uh, let's open up the food menu. I know that's the food menu there. I don't have the icons yet. Again, I'll draw them tomorrow and the game should pretty much basically be done tomorrow. I thought I was going to have it mostly finished today, but uh, I got stuck on a lot of things because I'm still new to Defold. And obviously, um, you have to start with small projects, and it's by doing small projects that allow you to learn how to use a new game engine. And I have no idea how to actually use Defold. I'm just shooting from the hip. So this is always a fun step and a fun stage for me. I, I enjoy the challenge. And I enjoy the uh, the battle of learning a new development environment. So I just need to have it to where now it, it updates the numbers so it actually shows how much food I have. And of course, you, you buy food from the shop and you earn uh, gold from defeating wild monsters and working. You can get your guy to work. So, oh, I accidentally softlocked myself there. <laughs> Let me go ahead and open up the game again. So I, I selected something that wasn't programmed yet. I'll just open up open up that again. So yeah, anyway, I hope you thought that was interesting. Um, Default is very interesting. It does things so differently from any other game engine that I've used before, and I've used um, some different ones. But if you've, say for example, if you tried Unity and you don't really like the way that it does things, I can recommend try Default. It can target quite a few different platforms. It's lightweight. And the way that Default works, it may click with you, you know. Uh, it may be something that really works with the way that that you think and you process information. So, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was interesting to you. And uh, take care, everyone. I will share more progress soon. I just want to show you um, just a little bit of a fluff or bite here, like I'll sort of show you. It's interesting. You sort of got to create these separately, you know. Um, you know, that's like the UI elements uh, it's like a totally separate separate game object, and you have your your main world there, and it's it's interesting. I I don't know if anyone, I don't know enough. I wouldn't be able to create videos to explain to you how it all works because I I just don't know enough, so I can't really help in terms of instructing people. But you know, there's there's Fluffer Bite. You know, you see his stats there, and and um, 
yeah, anyway, I I just uh, I just hope people have fun with this. And of course, there'll be ads in terms of like if your monster um gets injured uh and you need to heal them, then you watch the ad and it'll recover their their life force. Otherwise, they'll die, you know. Anyway, I hope you've had fun watching this video and checking out some of my work behind the scenes. Hopefully, I'll have this basically finished tomorrow. Okay, take care everyone. I will I'll smell you later.